Hey, what's up, y'all? So today's pick a card reading is why do your lovers get obsessed with you? All right, and it was requested. So let's get into it. I have three pals for you to choose from today. Pal one is the amethyst stone. All right. Pal two is the purple lipstick pen. All right. And pal three is the purple dice. All right. Now, I will be sure to timestamp each pal and leave it below in the description box. So feel free to choose more than one pal because more than one pal can most definitely be for you, all right? Also, what you may not find in one pal, you may find in another pal. So always, always feel free to choose more than one pal, okay? Now, also, you know, before I get into it, I would like to thank all of you for the likes, comments, and the subscribes. You are appreciated, okay? So, now, let's get into it, baby. All right, so for those of you who chose PAL 1, the Amethyst Stone. Let's get into it, baby, and let's see. Why do your lovers get obsessed with you, all right? Now, this could be your ex-lovers. This could be um, someone that, you know, your present lover, all right? <laughs> so, let's just get into it. So, Pal One, your first card is... The full card. Your next card is the Five of Cups. We have the Sun card. We also have the Ten of Voices, also known as the Ten of Swords, okay? We have the Page of Emotions, also known as the Page of Cups. Let's just put that over there out the way. We also have Three of Inspiration, and it's also known as being the Three of Wands. Next card is the ego card, all right? It's also known as being, you know, in the original tarot deck as um, the devil card, all right? And it says illusion, dependency, and materialism, all right? Now, for your oracle cards, we have the happy, happy card, all right? Your next card says chaos and conflict. Your next card says Never Ending Story. And we also have from another Oracle deck, Chaos, all right? So you got Chaos two times, Power One, all right? Um, and last but not least is the Broken Heart card, all right? So, Power One, let's get into it, baby. Let's see why do your lovers get obsessed with you, all right? Like I said, this could be ex-lovers or this could be your present lover, okay? So, I do want to start off by saying that, um, pal one, your lovers or your lover, they like that you're someone who's upbeat, positive, fun, and exciting to be around okay they also love that you're very empathic and open-hearted as well i feel like you're one way i can describe you pal one is that you're like a breath of 
fresh air okay i feel like this is what you know your lovers feel like or your lover feel like you know you're like a breath of fresh air um but what i will say is that for a lot of you who chose this pal you know with the ego card coming out i definitely feel like a lot of you have dealt with you may have dealt with a lot of narcissists when it comes to your romantic partners, all right? For some of you, this could this could just be someone in particular, all right? But the thing is that it's not just a obsession that your lovers have with you. They also become very possessive over you as well. It's almost like your lover's power one or your lover feel like you belong to them. I feel like it's your energy that they get obsessed with and they can't get enough of it, all right? But they want it for themselves. So they look for you to basically supply it to them, you know? They, wow. Mm hmm okay. Yeah, I definitely feel like you may have definitely dealt with a lot of narcissists, all right? Because they look at you is what I'm getting. They look at you as supply, all right? Now, the reason for this is because they don't know how to accumulate that for themselves, all right? The type of energy that you have, baby, you know, what I will say is the narcissist that you have dealt with in your life, they don't know how to accumulate that for themselves, all right? And what I will say is that they feel feel good when they're around you or they're in your you know when they're in your life or they're in your energy but see the thing is when you take your energy away or they no longer can get your energy anymore they become super obsessed okay super obsessed to get some of your energy and I feel like this is any way they can. Super obsessed to get your energy any way that they can, all right? Even if it means riding past your house, honey. Riding past your job. Stalking your social media. And, you know, I feel like they will even talk about you to others, okay? Um, but just any way to, like, pull on your energy, you know? Um, you know, see, what I'm getting is, the thing is, power one, when it comes, when it comes to your ex-lovers, they don't realize what they had with you or what they could have had with you until you're gone. And then that makes them even more obsessed with you. I feel like most of your ex-lovers wasn't used to the love that you gave them, all right? I feel like your love was, you know, with the page of cups, your love was very pure, all right, and genuine, all right? Everybody's not used to getting that, you know, pal. When I want you to know that everybody is not used to that, they're not used to getting that, you know, because there's a lot of people that's out here giving fake love, all right? Why? It's because there are a lot of people who don't know how to love, you know? They may have been taught fake love. They don't know what that is, all right? So I feel like that's how a lot of your ex-lovers or people who come into contact with you, you know, I'm getting energy, energy vamps for sure. You attract some of your body, and one thing, you know, I will say is that energy vampires, 
aka narcissists love your energy you know they love it all right they are very drawn to you all right but um they're not used to it they're not used to it so of course they don't know what to do with it you know um yeah and one last thing I will say before I pull any cards from my deck is that I also feel like, you know, your sex was very healing, you know, especially when it comes to ex. Even your, for those of you, your present lover, your sex is very healing, you know, and it may cause some of your lovers to get addicted, okay? Get addicted, get attached is what I'm getting, all right? Mm-hmm. And like I said, strongly with the cards that I have for y'all laid out here, pal one, is that, you know, I see that you're very loving, but, you know, you definitely been through some heartache, heartbreak, and betrayal and stuff by different lovers, you know, that didn't know what to do with you. They really didn't. They didn't know what to do with the love that you was giving. But you've been through it. But I'm seeing that it was... You dealt with a lot of narcissists, baby. All right? You really have, you know? In the past, I will say. All right? I feel like for the very reason, the things that they love about you is like almost like it's, it's a hate and love thing because the very things that they love about you is almost like they can't stand or they hate because the thing is they wish they had them, they had it for themselves, you know? But <clears throat> they'll take you giving it to them, but the moment you pull that back, you take that back, or you say no, you say no, or you take, you know, you pull your energy back from them, you know, they don't like that, you know? Yeah, so um, let me pull a few cards from my deck, pal, one, before I end your reading. Mm. I wasn't through shuffling, but I'm going to let this first card come out that came out, y'all. And it's, it's, it's interesting, all right, baby, because guess what it says? It says, I'm addicted to your love, all right? Yes, all right? Why... You know, do your lovers get obsessed with you? The love that you're getting, remember, that's confirmation. I was explaining to y'all at first that a lot of your lovers is not used to the type of love that you give to them. They're not used to that. You know, they're used to that um, fake love, actually. You know what I mean? They're not used to unconditional love. They're not used to real love, okay? So they're, you know... They're, they get addicted to that because they never had that type of love that you give them or you had shown to them, all right? And I feel like your lovers, they never made love before until they came into contact with you. Yeah, they was basically, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna have to put this 18 plus, baby, because your lovers, your ex-lovers or your lover that you're with right now, baby, they're used to just fucking, all right? But it's something different about your love, all right? You, you know, it's something different about, you know, I want to say, I really meant to say your sex, okay? It's different. It's like it's love making. They never had that with someone. They used to just fucking, all right? But with you, it's love making. It might be a little intense, too. Like, it's, it's, it's different, you know? Something they not used to, you know? But yeah, they get addicted to your love power one. That's why they become obsessed. You may be someone who keep it sexy, or they just they find you to be your lovers find you to be sexy. Alright? Your lovers find you to be sexy, power one. Let's see what flipped over in my deck. Beautiful. Your lovers or your lover find you to be 
beautiful very physically attractive okay and yes a sweetheart okay with the page of cups confirmation they love your heart they love the love that you give to them even if they didn't show it to you okay because like i said you know I can tell some of y'all had it hard. We got the never end of story. So you definitely dealt with, you know, heartbreak multiple times, you know, or narcissist multiple times. All right. But the thing is, they didn't know what to do with the love that you was giving to them. All right. I honestly, you know, I definitely say, and I try to tell people is that you can expect people to give you something, someone to give you something they don't have, you know? If they don't have self-love or, the, you know, love within themselves, how are they supposed to give that to you when they don't even have that within themselves? You know, how are they supposed to give that to you when they don't, you know, even know what that is because they don't even have that or they never was given that before and that's what i feel like with you pal when a lot of your lovers were you had some wounded lovers who never had real love before someone who really actually genuinely loved them or cared about them so when you came along or you come along they don't know what to do with it they don't know they don't know how to treat you they don't know how to you know the way you should be treated or need to be treated. They don't know. And I feel like they sabotage, they self-sabotage the connection or the relationship or whatever, you know? It's different for them, okay? All right. We have the You're My Muse card that came out. You're My Muse. What I will say is whether you know this or not, pal one that a lot of your lovers, they kind of look up to you, all right? They kind of look at you as like you're their muse, you know, especially when they're in a connection with you or whatnot, you know? But they kind of look up to you in a way, you know? And you may kind of inspire them a little bit, you know? Some of you may be a, a good cook, okay? <laughs> Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Your lovers can't forget, like, the food you cooked or, you know, the you're a good cook. They like your cooking, okay? They may become addicted to it. They may miss your cooking, you know, especially your ex-lovers. They may miss your cooking, baby. <laughs> we also have a nice ass cord. Your ex-lovers love that ass. They love their behind, okay? They love your booty, you know? <laughs> They definitely find that to be very attractive, okay? Look, we got likes everything about you card that came out next. So I feel like your ex-lovers, they like everything about you, you know? Everything about you. They may not even know how to explain it to you. I feel like some of your ex-lovers, pal, when they, they were not all that good with expressing themselves, okay? Expressing their um, feelings, okay? They didn't know nothing about that. They ain't know nothing about feelings until you came into the picture. That's what make them out. Since you wake something up in your lovers and your partners that they never felt before they feel with you. You get what I'm saying? Like I said, like I told y'all, a lot of your lovers, they went from, before they even came into contact with you, they went from fucking, okay, Everybody else is it's a fuck, okay? With you, it's like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Making love, passion, you know what I'm saying? Like, they had never made love until they came into contact with you. It was different, okay? The sex was different. The the feelings, the spark, whatever it was, that was something in them, it, it made them feel different. The sex was different, okay? As well, like I said, you know? Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ooh, look. Boobies. Okay, so. Your lovers love your breasts for my women or your chest for my men, all right? They may become a little obsessed with it. They may like to look at it. They may like to still watch you. <laughs> Especially if you have a social media account. And they be staying in it. And this is dead on that. They be staring at your breasts or your chest. I feel like they're attracted to... Oh, they're just attracted to your overall body. We got nice body. So... 
Your lovers love your body. Ooh, they love your body, baby. They love to explore your body. They just, they love your body. Doesn't It doesn't matter what size you are. Just know your ex love your body, you know? They love it. You're unforgettable. See, they can't get you. I can't get you off my mind. I can't get you off my mind. Yeah. Okay? Unforgettable. Period. Your ex feel like you're unforgettable. It's hard for your ex to forget you. But see, here's the thing. I feel like this is just, wow. <clears throat> this is confirmation to what I told y'all. It's like it's a love, but... They love you, but for the same reasons some of you, your your narcissistic lovers or exes, the same reason they love you, they kind of, mm, I don't know, despise you. you. You trigger them. They're triggered by you. Yes. Your light. With the sun card, your light. You shine light on their, on their darkness, okay? On the on on their demons all right they get triggered by you a lot the very things that they love about you they damn near kind of hate about you because you trigger them they're triggered by you they're triggered by their, your light because it, it kind of exposes them or shine light on their short comments or whatever you know yes they're triggered by you yes they are they're triggered by you but at the same time they're obsessed by you. If you know what I mean, alright? <laughs> Child, I see I spy. Yes, honey. Um, your lovers, especially ex-lovers, they spy on you. They love spy on you. Even maybe even your current lover, alright? But they like to watch you, okay? I feel like they like to watch you or they like to see what you doing, all right? Or something like that. Like, they like to keep tabs on you is what I'm getting. But see, we are unique. They flipped over in my deck. And they find you to be very unique. Like I said, it's different, the connection that they have with you. We got self-love flipped over in my deck. And I just feel like that is you. You have a lot of self-love, okay, within you. And it, and it oozes outward, all right? Um, Especially, look, we got X marks the marks the spot on the bottom of the deck so you definitely have some exes that are obsessed with you power one power one it's a lot of your your ex lovers that are obsessed with you is what i will say it's hard for them to, to forget you it's hard for them to get over you why because they know they fumbled they know they fumbled the bag when they messed up with you when they lost you all right I'm getting you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You made me happy when skies are gray, period. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? It takes you to take your sunshine out of their life for them to realize, like, damn, what you brought to the table or how much you meant, okay? It takes you to get on down, all right? And they, like, realize what they have. Now, you know, some of you, maybe you grew more self-love. You had to grow more self-love with yourself and you stopped attracting so many of, or you was able to at least spot these narcissists out before you let them back in or something. But I definitely feel like, you know, you're someone who has a lot of self-love and you have had some lovers who want to feed off of that, off of your energy, damn near to the point where they wanted it for themselves. And then when they could have it for themselves, it just, you know, it may have sparked a little bit of, jealousy insecurity is what i will say and so it may have caused some of them to cheat on you or just whatever act you know act strange jealousy bring out the jealousy bring out the you know what i mean just different behavior you know so let me get um a couple of zodiac cards before i eat your reading y'all okay So, like I said, 
have one. I'm about to get a couple Zodiac cards before I end your reading. So some of you may be a Leo or you have a Leo placement in your chart. Some of you may be a Capricorn or you have a Capricorn placement in your chart. Okay, so we have Fifth House, the first card that came out. And Fifth House represents passion. So it's I just feel like it's very passionate, okay? Um, the sex, the love that you share with your love, like your lovers, whatever y'all have between each other is very passionate. Like I said, it's just making me think about like the sex that you share with your lover or whatnot. And it's like very passionate, okay? Is what I will say, or it starts off that way. And we have Capricorn that came out, confirmation. We also have Pisces. So some of you may be a Pisces, or you have a Pisces placement in your chart. And we also have Pluto. And Pluto, it represents Scorpio. So you may have a Scorpio placement in your chart. All right. If you're not a Scorpio. And let me get one more card, y'all. And we also have, it says Earth. So some of you may be an Earth sign or you have an Earth sign placement in your chart. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And we also have Gemini. So some of you may be a Gemini or you have a Gemini placement in your chart. All right. Now, let me get some numbers before I end your reading. The number five, the number 10, the number three, the number nine, the number 43, and the number 27 and 37. Could be significant to some of you, all right? Now, the numbers I name could be your life path number, lucky number, your age, birthday, birthday month, or someone close to you. Someone close to you, age, your birthday, or whatnot. But that completes your reading, that completes your message, Power One. If it resonated with you, give it a like, comment, or subscribe. If you did not, feel free to check out any of the other pals. All right. Also, feel free to go on my channel and check out my Pick a Card Messages playlist. I thank you so, so much. Until next time. All right, so for those of you who chose Pal 2, the lipstick pen, let's get into it, baby, all right? <laughs> and we're about to see why do your lovers get obsessed with you, okay? Okay, so let's get into it, Pal 2. Your first card is the Four of Wands. Your next card is the Six of Swords. We also have the World card. Your next card is the death card. The empress. And we also have the six of emotions, also known as the six of cups. All right, so Next card is the Knight of Water, also known as the Knight of Cups. And it says, romantic, emotional, and dramatic. Now, for your Oracle cards, we have, first card is the Building Blocks card. Next card is the Milk and Honey card. Your next card says Deep Knowing. Next card says Wishing. 
And last but not least, it says cornucopia. All right, pal two, baby. Let's get into it, all right? We're about to see why do your lovers get obsessed with you, okay? So, pal two. I feel like your lovers get obsessed with the fact that they see you as being their ultimate wish fulfillment, okay? We have the world card laying out here, okay? We also have the cornucopia card that came out, okay? Let me let y'all look at that. Now, even the cornucopia card is, is you know, is dealing with, like, wishes fulfilled, okay? Then we got the milk, of, milk and honey card that came out. So, I will say that most of your lovers, they can see you as being wish fulfillment. That's how they look at you. I feel like you're someone who's very beautiful, okay? Inside and out, okay? You're like the whole package. Because, you know, your lovers, they find you to be very physically attractive, baby. With the Empress card. Yes, honey, all right? <laughs> but not just that. They like how kind, loving, caring, and nurturing you are. So they tend to fall in love with you very quickly, pal two. I feel like they fall in love with everything about you, actually, you know? Because what I will say is they see you as being marriage material. But not only that, they feel like you're the one for them. They feel like you're the perfect partner that they can build with and spend the rest of their lives, you know, their life with. You know, some of your lovers may feel like a deeper connection with you or whatever is what I'm getting with the deep knowing. Like they feel like, you know what I'm saying, like a d deeper connection with you or whatnot. So, you know, some of your lovers may feel like you're their soulmate. And, yes, you could very well be their soulmate because that's just, you know, could be someone, you know, you was with them in a past life, some type of past life connection or whatever, you know. So that's why they may feel like this deep connection to you, all right? Doesn't mean they're meant for you this lifetime. You, you feel me? <laughs> all right? But... See, here's the thing about that. I feel like when the relationship ends, okay, with the death card, baby, when the relationships, the relationship ends up not working out, this makes them obsessed, okay? This makes them obsessed or even more obsessed. I feel like they get stuck on the ideal of what they thought the relationship would be, all right? So it becomes hard for, for some of your lovers to move on or it's hard for them to see you move on. You get what I'm saying? So even if they end up in another relationship after you, I feel like they're still not over you and you still have their hearts, you know? Even years later, I feel like, you know, even years later, they still check up on you. They may even ask others about you. Now, for those of you who's on social media, I feel like they still watch you. They still watch you to see how are you doing, what are you doing, and who are you doing it with, okay? They like to check up on you. Like I said... This could be lovers from like three years ago, five years ago, hell, ten years ago for some of you. They they could be married. That's what I'm getting. You know, ex lovers. They could be married to someone, but it's just like you still have a heart. They still gotta go look and check you out, baby. For instance, if you have a Facebook, a Facebook or something, they gotta go check it out and see what you up to, what you doing. 
You know what I'm saying? How is your life going? Who did you meet? Because they feel like even if they moved on and they're married, they feel like you, you, you're still the one. You were the one. Okay, so I'm getting for some of you, you have ex-lovers that feel like you are the one that got away or something, you know? Yeah, look at the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords, look, paddling away, baby. So some, you know, they may look at you like that. They're not, you may be over them, some of your, you know, ex-lovers. You may be over your ex-lovers, but uh, they're not over you, you know? And... They, they look at you, a lot of times your lovers look at you as being wish fulfillment because you have even the exes. The exes look at you as like wish fulfillment. If they could have you back or if they could be with you, they if you allowed them to or gave them a chance, they would do it. Wish fulfillment. They would leave whoever they with just to come back, just to come back to you, all right? Why the hell am I picking on Usher? You made me want to leave the one I'm with, start a new relationship with you, do what you do. Period, all right? And that's just that on that, all right? They feel like everything's good with you, and that's just that on that. Lovers, they like every damn thing. You hear me, all right? They like the sex. They like it all, okay? Like I said, I feel like your ex-lovers saw you as just like, damn, the perfect one for them, the perfect partner, you know? And you giving me down to earth. At the same time, they looked at you as being like down to earth, you know what I'm saying? Giving. I feel like that's confirmation to the Empress card. You may be someone's very giving. Oh. Good looking. Mm-hmm. They like how giving you are. How good. I mean, how giving you are good looking. Because for some of you, this is your lover who you are with right now. You know? They are obsessed with the love, just everything. They are obsessed. They're just like, yes, you are the one for me, baby. And if you ended up changing your mind or turn. You would really crush them because they looking at you like you are the one. I'm going to marry you. You know what I'm saying? They want to marry you if they're not married to you yet. And if they already married to you, they're like, they just feel so fulfilled. All right? So fulfilled. For some of you, X marks the spark. X marks the spot is showing itself on the bottom of my dick. So for some of you, you definitely have some X lovers. Some X lovers who are obsessed with you. And we have big old freak that came out. So some of y'all, y'all some ladies or some gentlemen in the in the streets. But y'all some freaks in the sheets. Y'all be really your sex. It, your sex makes your lovers obsessed. Okay, you know it's 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 like a plus. I feel like your sex is a plus. Okay, and see, you know a lot of your lovers feel like like I said, this is why they feel like your whole package. You just you checking every box, baby. Even your sex good. You know what I'm saying? You like a whole big old freak. You didn't put it down on them and then you over here trying to here you go over here on my channel. Checking out this pick a card. Why and, and you know why they obsessed with you. You know, okay? You already know why they obsessed with you. You know you put it down in the in the bedroom, okay? You know. You got all these other good qualities in on top of that. You put it down in the bedroom like that for them. And you try and figure out why they obsessed with you. You look freak you. <laughs> I'm just messing with y'all. But yeah, some of y'all some be all freaks, okay? In the sheets, you know, that's how you, that's how. That's how your lovers see you. Ooh, keep it sexy. Yeah, they find y'all to be very sexy. They're very physically attracted to you. But like I said, they're attracted to you on so many levels, you know. And this is why a lot of your lovers feel like you're the one. They could have went into the situation not knowing or thinking that it was going to get so deep. But <sighs> things get deeper or whatever than they thought or they expected it to, all right? Rare. Yeah, because you're very rare, all right? You're very rare. And we have heart heartbreak you know you know some of your lovers you have i feel like pal too you have broken some of your lover's heart you may have not tried to now is what i'm getting but you have broken some of your some of your lovers it's lovers they they feel heartbroken because they thought you was the one and then when it don't work out that's what i'm saying when it don't work out they're just like i thought this was the one like this was the one for me like yeah, they'd be heartbroken. 
and your ex marks the spot came out anyway so a lot of you it's your ex lovers that become obsessed with you like i said when it don't work out they're stuck like they're just like i thought this was the one he or she mark every check every box of mine like i like everything about this person like what's wrong with me it started making them feel insecure it started feeling like what's wrong with them you know because they wasn't able to obtain you they wasn't able to keep you and so it makes them feel insecure it makes them feel real insecure it makes them feel like how did i lose this you know how did i why was you know why wasn't i able to have this 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 how to seem perfect for me you know mm -hmm. but the thing is maybe some of your ex lovers you may have been perfect for them maybe they just wouldn't it may not have been for you they may not have been all that you know for you is what i will say maybe they wasn't checking every box for you you know it'd be like that sometimes and it's just that on that you know so we have inventive, okay? My inventive, my um card, Albert Einstein. Um, also known as like my creative card. So you may be just very creative, you know, very creative. Some of you may be mothers, is what I'm getting. Um, so or some of you may, you know, like I said, you know, you may be mothers or you or you may be you may have children, okay. Because for my men who chose this pal, doesn't mean you're a mother, but you may have children, okay? Harmonic balance. So, see, some of your lovers be feeling like, you know, I don't know, you bring balance into their life or they be just feeling, they feel like or they think they're in harmony with you. But, see, that's the thing about you. The, the, the thing is, we got the Empress card. Even for my men, you just could be really in that energy. You know what I mean? You, you're still the Emperor, but you may be more in your Empress energy at this time. And see, the thing is, the Empress don't settle, baby. You're the Empress. The Empress don't settle, baby. So, yeah, you may be all that for your lovers or your ex-lovers. Because we do have the ex-lovers card that came out. So, this is definitely a lot of your ex-lovers, pal, too, who are obsessed with you. You don't settle. So that means that they could be doing one or two things right, but then the rest is just, you're not settling for less than what you deserve, all right? And that's just that on that. And so you may end up having to walk away from the situation or end the things because you just, you're not going to settle for less than what you deserve. You know, you're not just going to, you know, person have to, just like you check all of someone else's, you know, you check every every box for someone else. You won't, you know what I'm saying? You want that in return. Maybe that's why the harm oh then maybe that's why the harmonic balance card came out. You want balance. You want somebody to be able to check all of your boxes too, baby. Period. You want your divine counterpart. You want your emperor. So you don't settle. You are not settling for no knight of cups, baby. You want the emperor. Period. You want the emperor. And for my men, you the emperor, if you chose this path, you want your empress. And that's just dead on that. You don't want no knight of cups. You don't want that. You're not selling. You might really like them, but you like you see something lacking where it's just like you want 50, you want 50, 50, you want equal. Okay. Here you go checking this person, all their boxes and shit, but they only check like two, two or three out of your 10 boxes or five out of your 10 boxes okay they don't wanna, they ain't even checking nine or eight baby they checking only five or, or under and you just like you know what? i'm not selling i'm the emperor so i'm the emperor and i'm not selling all right let's just that on that mm -hmm. some of you have a very nice smile okay and let's just that on that you know very attractive smile your smile may brighten up people's days look natural beauty that's the confirmation you know this is confirmation to the empress card you're a natural beauty, baby. Y'all naturally look good, pal, too. Naturally, just very handsome. Oh, some of y'all got some nice boobs. They be, man. <laughs> so, some of your lovers may become obsessed with your, your boobies for my women or your chest for my men. 
They may like your body or have a favorite body part. Wow, we have deep regret. So for some of you, these some of your lovers could have done something to be in deep regret. Done something to not be able to have you anymore. Mm -hmm. You leave some of your um, lovers confused. I think they'd be confused because they're like, I, I, thought, I thought Pal 2 was the one. I thought you was the one. Like, what is it? Did I not do right? What is it about me? Because I look at Pal 2 as being like, your lovers a lot of the, of the time, Pal 2, they look at you as like being perfect. The one. Yes. This person, da-da-da. So they be confused when you walk away or you let them go or whatnot. Because they're like, I must not be. Yeah, they be feeling less than you. They be feeling like they not good enough because they like, oh my goodness. Pal 2 didn't choose me or Pal 2 walked away from me. Pal 2 let me go. I'm looking at Pal 2 marks. Every box, you know, check every box for me. What's the problem? Look, we got on, on the bottom of the deck. I can't let you go. Yes. Some of them just, they can't let you go. Yes. Some of your lovers just, they become obsessed because it's hard for them to let you go. All right? Like I said, it's hard for them to let go of the thought of what they thought the connection was or was going to be or could be. You know? And we got health is your wealth on the bottom of the deck. Eat better, feel better. So some of you may really like to take care of your health. And let me do one more card, all right? Or you may just really love fruits, vegetables, and shit like that. And we got 420, all right? 420 may be significant to some of you, or some of you may smoke weed, marijuana, Mary Jane. It's all the same thing, baby, all right? Yeah, and then we got... On the bottom of the deck, sun energy. So you may have that, you know, not only are you the empress, but you got like that sun type energy. And on the top of the deck, we got social media, all right? So a lot of your ex-lovers, they still watch you on social media. They still watch you. They still stalk you. I don't care if you block them or whatever. Best believe they made a fake page or whatnot. They still watch you. They like to watch you on social media. They still try to keep up with you to see what you're doing, okay? And what you got going on and stuff like that, you know? But, yeah. So, how to... I'm about to end your reading with a Zodiac card, okay? Some of you may be a water sign or you have a water sign placement in your chart. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. We have Mars that came out. Mars represents Aries. So some of you may be in Aries or you have an Aries placement in your chart. We also have Virgo, so some of you may be a Virgo or you have a Virgo placement in your chart. Some of you may be an Earth sign or you have an Earth sign placement in your chart. In that. And they are um, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Ooh. Whoa, that's too many. I was going to take them, baby, but that's way too many, okay? <laughs> All right, let's see. Let me get a couple more. All right, and we have Virgo again, so some of you most definitely may be a Virgo or you have a Virgo placement in your chart. We also have Jupiter. Jupiter represents Sagittarius, so some of you may be a Sagittarius or you have a Sagittarius placement in your chart. And last but not least, we have Leo. Some of you may be a Leo or you have a Leo placement in your chart. Some of you may be a Taurus or you have a Taurus placement in your chart. It could be in your third house, all right? Now, let me get some numbers before I end your reading. The number four, the number six, the number three, 21, 28, 51, and 43 may be significant to some of you. Now, the numbers I named could be your life path number, lucky number, your age, birthday, birthday month, or someone close to you age. But that completes your reading, that completes your message. If it resonated with you, pal, too, give it a like, comment, or subscribe. If you did not, feel free to check out any of the other pals. I thank you so, so much, pal, too. Until next time.
All right, so for those of you who chose pile three, the purple dice, let's get into it, baby. And let's see why do your lovers, your lovers get obsessed with you. Let's see what the dice want to stop on. And we have six, six, baby, okay? So the number three could be significant to some of you. The number six could be significant to some of you. And the number 12 could be significant to some of you, all right? And the number nine could be significant to some of you. Now, let's get into it. <laughs> Your first card is the Ten of Pentacles. Your next card is the High Priestess. We also have the Two of Swords. The Star card. Next is the Justice card. We also have, it says Muse of Materials. It's also known as the King of Materials, okay? Next card is the Four of Water. It's also known as the Four of Cups. And it says Distraction, Self-Absorption, and Discontentment, okay? Now, for your Oracle cards, we have Treasure Island. Next card says community. Next card says co-create. Your next card says success. And last but not least is the seventh chakra, which is represented by Archangel Uriel. Mm -hmm. And it is the crown chakra, okay? So let's get into it, baby. Let's get into it, okay? Now, pal three. Let me start off by saying your lovers, they definitely get obsessed with, I want to say how abundant you are or how abundant they feel when they're around you, okay? When they're with you or whatnot is what I'm getting. You make your lovers feel really, really lucky, They may even feel more optimism, you know, uh, optimism and, you know, excitement and joy when they're around you or they're with you. I feel like you tend to rub off on your lovers. Your lovers, they also feel safe, relaxed and secure when they're with you as well. All right. I feel like it's something about you or your energy. Yeah, there's something about you or your energy that makes your lovers feel like they can conquer the world is what I'm getting, okay? Like they can conquer the world with you, all right? They also feel like you would go the extra mile for them. And they feel more balanced with you or like you balance them out in some type of way. They also like how fair you are. And how easy you are to get along with. And some of your lovers or your lover may see you as being their equal. I feel like you're very healing and inspiring. Most of your lovers or your lovers see you as being their muse, okay? You're very inspirational to them. So when things don't end up working out or the relationship ends i feel like they are left feeling empty sitting you know they're left feeling empty yeah mm -hmm. is what i'm getting with the four of cups i feel like they're left sitting empty in their feelings and stuck on you you know Almost like you took away their inspiration. <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness. But, yes, pal, three. Um, Yeah. I also feel like they find you to be very sexy. All right? I feel like with the high priestess. <laughs> but, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Oh, you give them, like I said, you give them some type of hope or inspiration. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if some of you know this, but 
your lovers, they look up to you. For whatever reason, they look up to you. Or your lover. It may be a lot of men who chose this spell, but at the same time, I don't feel like it with the high priestess. But we do have the king of pentacles out here as well. So a lot of you just may be very, you know, like I said, definitely very balanced. But I'm also getting that a lot of you have your feminine and your masculine energies very well balanced, okay? So I feel like some of your lovers is not used to you or someone like you and just, you know, they may look up to you whether they tell you, tell you this or not, you know? And they like the way you move, you know, or the way you think. Yeah, it's something about your mind. You may, yeah, it's definitely with the crown chakra coming out. It's definitely something about your mind that they love. All right. So I'm about to get a few cards from my deck, pal. Three before I end your reading with Zodiac card. We have Naturally Dope that came out. So your lovers may find you to be, you know, very naturally attractive. All right. Oh. <laughs> we have sex with you, so amazing. Sex with you is so amazing, period. So, um, the thing is, for some of you, pal three, um, your lovers, they get obsessed with your sex, okay? And it's just that on that. You put it on them, baby, you put it on them, they like, with the high priestess, some of them may feel like you put a spell on them, baby. Like, you know what I'm saying? They might think that or they might feel that secretly watch you your lovers they like to secretly watch you mm -hmm. they may find you to be very fun they might feel like you're fun they love your vibe okay another reason why they become obsessed with you is that they they do love your vibes okay well they in also, they may like the fun that they have with you. We have sexy lips that came out, so they love your lips, okay? Your lovers feel like you're one of a kind, pal three. That's why they're obsessed with you or it's hard for them to get over you. You know, you're like the... I want to say you're like their star. You're, you're like their shining star. They feel like, you know, when they're, when they're with you. Wow. And we have, I'm addicted to your love. Your lovers become addicted to your love as well. Not only your sex, because I'm getting like, they become addicted to your sex, your sex, but the love that you show to them, that you give to them as well. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Child, I got the whole dick to just flip over. I can't take all of them, but, you know. Oop. Okay, so your lovers may see you as being down to earth, all right? Pretty eyes. They love your eyes, okay? They love looking to your eyes, okay? Something about your eyes turn them on as well. So you may have like some bedroom eyes. And then we had a social distancing social club that came out. So I definitely feel like some of these, some of your lovers, this this is ex, okay? These are exes, exes that's coming through and they don't like when you distance yourself, okay? That's when the obsession come in, okay? An unhealthy obsession at that. The thing is they see you as, they always see you or saw you as being um their muse look we have you're my muse that's how your lovers see you so then when you take your energy away you walk away or you eat things with them or it don't work out they they're they're kind of left feeling empty because their muse is no longer there that's how they see you they see you as being their muse i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing it's kind of not it's kind of unhealthy because you can't move on with your life. You kind of stuck. They're stuck on you in a way. Because, you know, you're, you, you're like their muse. Why were you like their muse? Because, look, we have on the bottom of the deck, you the best. A lot of your lovers, they become obsessed with, obsessed with you because they feel like you're the best. They feel like they'll never find nobody like you. I'm getting, I will never find another love. 
sweeter than you, sweeter than you. Okay, they feel like they'll never find somebody like you because the thing about you is your lovers, they feel like you're unique. They see you as, you know, we do have the star card out, okay? The star card represents Aquarius. What's up, baby? Shout out to my Aquarius out there, all right? It is what it is. You're very different, pal. Three, or you, you know, unique. Okay, creative. Well, I feel like some of y'all creative with the love that you give, and some of y'all creative in the bedroom. All right, it's just very different from what your lovers is used to. Okay, you bring something very different to the table, and this is why they get obsessed with you. They feel like you're the best because they feel like they never find somebody like you, which they will not. Okay. You are very rare, different, and unique. It's only one you, baby. Um, you may be someone who really embraced your individuality is what I'm getting. But So they're stuck because they know once they have either elfed it up with you or the relationship, the connection just don't work out for whatever reason, they know they will never find somebody like you. Never find somebody like you. And look, we got... I get lost in your eyes. Definitely, definitely, definitely something about your eyes, pal three, that, you know, your lover or lovers, all right, they are very attracted to, all right? And we have not your average. Yeah, that's just confirmation to the fact that I told y'all. It's like you're, you're very different. You're very unique. You're not, they don't run into, they won't run into someone. You don't run into someone like you every day, Okay. Your lovers don't run into someone like you every day. And that's just that on that. You may be someone who spread positivity. I feel like, yeah, I definitely feel like that. And, you know, and if I feel like it's kind of the way you move, you know, just the way you move in life. Oh, man. Some of your lovers end up being mad. They be obsessed, but mad. Mad they can't have you no more. Mad they can't be with you anymore, you know? But look, it says, ain't nobody got time for that. I feel like you just don't have time for You don't have, may not have time for negativity, you know? But yes, we definitely got that. Ain't nobody got time for that card that came out. I see it smarts the spot on the bottom of the deck. It's really been showing itself throughout my entire reading, okay? So you definitely have ex-lovers okay that become obsessed with you all right some of them are big mad because you moved on or because they can't get with you they can't get back with you good looking yes you're physically attractive as well okay i'm getting shine bright like a diamond you, you really be shining you know you just be shining yeah because you're one of a kind and some of your exes become obsessed with you because they feel like you're going to be something very great one day. Very successful. That's how they see you. Sexy lips. They're attracted to your lips. Let me get a couple more cards. Yeah, sexy lips. Okay, some of them feel like you're you're their soulmate. It says, thinks you're their soulmate. Or they felt like this at first. And then when you end things or you walk away, they're just like... Some of them are very salty is what I'm getting. You know? They feel some type of way and they get very salty because they thought it was going to be something else, you know. They they thought, but, you know, I guess they didn't, you know, I don't know. They just didn't match up to what you wanted. Okay. And then we have go with your gut. Your gut knows best. So, I feel like this confirmation to the High Priestess card that came out, you're very intuitive, okay? And you have no problem with leaving toxic people behind. So, some of your exes may have been very toxic for you. Is why it did not work out, okay? And we have the big old booty card that came out. Some of your exes is obsessed with your ass, okay? Okay, so... All right, pile three. Before I end your reading, I'm going to get a few Zodiac cards. So, like I said, some of you definitely may be in Aquarius or you have an Aquarius placement in your chart. Some of you may be a Libra or you have a Libra placement in your chart. Six. 
seventh house. Some of you may have Libra in your seventh house. Some of you may be a water sign or you have a water sign placement in your chart. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. We have 11th house. So some of you may have a water sign placement in your 11th house, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. We have 12th house. <laughs> some of you may have water in your 12th house, okay? Because the 12th house is dealing with introspection, okay? And most water signs definitely have, um, you know, definitely know how to introspect, okay? And we have the moon came out. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of water signs over here. The moon represents cancer, so some of you may be a cancer, or you have a cancer placement in your chart. And we have Aries, some of you may be an Aries, or you have an Aries placement in your chart. Whoa. <laughs> we have Scorpio, some of you may be a Scorpio, or you have a Scorpio placement in your chart. Let me get one more card. Whoa, what's that? We got three. We got three cards that came out. All right, so the eighth house came out, okay? The eighth house card came out. It's dealing with mystery. So it's a little bit mystery there when it comes to you, and I feel like this confirmation to the high priestess. You know, it's something about your lovers. They can't figure you out. They love the mystery, all right? They love it about you, all right? I feel like that's why they become obsessed with you. I don't care how long they be with you or spend time with you. It's just always feel like they don't know everything about you. So even after the relationship, like they really become obsessed. They're trying to just figure you out or something. You know, they feel like they know things about you, but they don't know. They don't feel like they know everything. It's some type of mystery. I feel like they like that about you, though. This will keep them intrigued, all right? <laughs> Some type of mystery there. Some of you may be a Taurus or you have a Taurus placement in your chart. Some of you may be a Scorpio or you have a Scorpio placement in your chart. And some of you may be a Leo or you have a Leo placement in your chart, all right? I will say that I am getting Earth. So some of you definitely may be an Earth sign or you have an Earth sign placement in your chart. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, all right? Now, let me get some numbers before I end your reading. I will say that I feel like the number 2, 4, 10, 8... 11, 39, and 40 may be significant to, to some of you, all right? Now, the numbers I named could be your life path number, lucky number, your age, birthday, birthday month, or someone close to your age. But that completes your reading and completes your message, Power 3. If it resonated with you, give it a like, comment, or subscribe, okay? If it did not... Feel free to check out any of the other pals. Also, feel free to go on my channel and check out my Pick a Car Messages playlist. All right, baby. Until next time.